yo, yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim, back again with another great, amazing graphics design tutorial. So the graphics design tutorial of today, well, I know you missed it and I'm like, damn, probably. So what's happening here today is all about how much we can flex when it comes to poster design. Now we're going to create a poster design of 1080p by 1080p, which means they are all pixels. So don't worry about that because that's a dimension of Instagram post, not only post of Instagram, but social media post, which is more convenient nowadays looking layout instead of you using A5. So I'm going to just get started and further ado that's what's up okay ladies and gentlemen first thing first we inside photoshop okay i'm gonna give you guys a tip because i just met this layout already so go back to home if you're using the photoshop 2020 don't worry about that Control plus n or if you don't you hate shortcut keys just go all the way to file you love row go to file new then over here you can see i made this type of dimension i know you don't have that don't worry i'm going to select randomly so go to uh, pixels then change the value to 1080 then Control plus a Control plus c to copy so as you just don't need to type the numbers again so after that just click create then you're going to be having the same layout as mine so i'm going to just delete that now inside our layout first thing first which we supposed to consider is all about what we are inserting inside the layout now what i'm going to do is all about getting started with shapes so i'm going to create like a shape like this one because i want to make it more looking like a photography so i'm going to create half of the sizes just something like that and something like that a drop list of items so as here we can just fade in our content now from right now i'm gonna just undo everything i'm gonna go back to the background since i made those shapes i'm gonna use them now i'm gonna go all the way to um is it gradient yeah sure gradient go all the way to grays and make sure that on the grays you just come up with something clean something something more looking like this which is so great after that control plus uh back is it backslash or first slash the, the the exclamation mark hit it it will lock the layer but if you like natural way just click this one done after that you can just release everything back now you might be asking yourself one question why did i undo that and why did i do that because i just wanted to fill the whole workspace of the layout how much the background is gonna fit in that was the most key important now right now i'm gonna just feed in some pictures of mine now i'm gonna just grab some few pictures i inserted so a little bit thing here i don't know what's happening with my machine today it's a little bit heavy duty i don't know where did it come from from there now i'm gonna drag my first picture right now what's happening is just that we're gonna create some clipping mask but it's placing the document okay now clipping mask you're gonna right click your subject and make sure that it's just on top of the other subject which is so important so after that right click it say clipping mask to just drop down there now I'm gonna adjust my shape I think or my image somewhere there I guess it's just nice because I don't see anything there rather than adjustments they follow then I see the shapes how much it improved its own self so it just takes time you have to be patient it's just on my machine your machine might be more perfect than mine so for right now I'm gonna drag a second image okay we're done with my picture here I'm gonna just drag my picture on top of the other layer very very important so as it can overlay on that layer as normal go and create a clipping mask to just drop down on the clipping mask and we have a subject there Control plus t for adjustment then i'm gonna just uh, drag it here my machine today it's a little bit slower our image on the workspace Control plus g Control alt plus g to make that shortcut so i'm gonna just adjust this picture to bring it somewhere here to give it different kind of perspective as you can see so for right now we're actually going to go all the way to the rectangle right click it and say blending option now i'm going to create some blending option for the um stroke because i just want that stroke to give me a certain um texture as you can see guys that's what's up but i just want it to be outside to be more outside so i'm going to just uh, reduce the um the opacity and i'm gonna just keep it somewhere here just somewhere there 
after that you're gonna click create uh, or you're gonna click ok sorry create what was it thinking okay go to the blending option again after having that if you click stroke it's just applying the same thing because it's global so click ok go to our second um, rectangle go to blending option then click stroke and the same image will just apply so I'm gonna just um, bring this image and this image or link the layers and group them I'm gonna link the layers and group them I'm gonna link the layers and group them after grouping them just like that we have group one group two now I'm gonna move my group um, one just to give it some some spacing you see so I'm gonna go all the way to group two I'm gonna move the group two just somewhere here so just to bring it somewhere here to give that kind of feel of the spacing to use how much it's gonna spell but each one of us has his own kind of way of just creating it and just groove on it so as it can spark well so just keep it somewhere here after that we're gonna just um, bring our name or if it's your subject or it's somebody's name so i'm gonna use oswald on this one I hope you enjoyed on this kind of amazing tutorial. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, stay sharp and creative. And peace. Don't forget to subscribe.